What's up guys? It's your boy Tio, also known as the Bovine, and today I am so excited because I get to share with you opening this box of Shadows Over Innistrad. It's my first unboxing and I'm like a kid on Christmas morning. I am so excited. So first up we've got the buy a box promo, the elusive tormentor or the insidious mist, depending on how you do it, if it flips. Um, I think this is going to be a really good card, frankly. Uh, if you flip it, it's unblockable, it's hexproof, indestructible, you can't get rid of it, and then it's free for damage if you've got mana up. So I think it's going to be big. I think it's going to be huge, adding madness to the mix. So let's get to it. There. Right. there we go. Nothing more than plastic wrap that is oddly hard to open. So I am super excited for this set. I think it's a great set, uh, and I really think it captures the old feel of the original Innistrad block, the horror, the uh, just the world. All of it is fantastic. All right, pack one. Some nagging thoughts: a vessel of ephemera, lamplighter of Selhawk, blood mad vampire. Apothecary Geist, Stallion of Ashmith, Vessel of Nascency, Vessel of Malignity, got all the vessels going on, Uncaged Fury, Runaway Carriage, Dissension in the Ranks, Magnifying Glass, and our rare, The Game Trail, got one of the new Showlands, the red, uh, red green one, you got a Mountain or Force, comes into play on tap, otherwise it's then our flip card, Daring Sleuth, Bear of Overwhelming Truths. Then Mountain and a Clue. So I think the clues are pretty sweet. Uh, get some card drawing going. Alright, Pack 2. Organize these. We've got Expose Evil, Deny Existence, Devil Thorn Fox, Explosive Apparatus, Intrepid Provisioner. I think that's going to be very important for uh, some of the human decks coming out. Pump up the team. And if you got Odric out, getting everybody trampled, it's going to be real big. Moreland Drifter, Aim High, Vampire Noble, Veteran Cathar, Jules. Grunau Corpse Tribal Trawler, probably said that wrong. It happened. Ongoing investigation. I think this is pretty sweet. Uh, it's a little bit slower for uh, something like Bite into Thassa or uh, Coastal Piracy, but it's still pretty good. And a rare to the slaughter. Um, I don't know about this card honestly. I think it's I think it's good for removal, but I think it's only good if your opponent doesn't have any other creatures. Because otherwise, they get to just sack whatever they want, and you're kind of left holding the bag. Didn't really do much for me at my pre-release, but who knows? I'm not a pro. Uh, got some Gas Staff Arsonists. The big old 5-4 or 6-5 werewolves. And a foil, Obsessive Skinner. And a human soldier token. Alright. Moving on to pack three. So go ahead and put in the comments below, you know, the cards that you found that were really powerful that you pre-released or the cards that you're most excited for. We got a Cathar's Companion, 
Stitched Mangler, Wicker Witch, something for that tribal scarecrows, Stallion of Ashmith, Ember Eye Wolf, Equestrian Skill, Stormkirk Mentor, Tormenting Voice, Toppelgeist. I'm going to be honest, I'm in love with the art on this card because he's just poking over, poking over the candle. Stone Quarry. Griff's Boom, and Second Harvest. I really like this card for EDH. I'm a big EDH player. Uh, I think it's going to be great, especially for my Derevi deck. Run a lot, a lot of uh, tokens in there. And then we've got the new Delver of Secrets, Aberrant Researcher. I don't know if it'll be quite as good as the old Delver, but still pretty good. Holy shit. All right, we got a foil Jace Unraveler of Secrets. <laughs> that is exciting. All right, just gonna just gonna go ahead, put that where it belongs in a sleeve. Ooh. Three packs in, we already got a, a foil Mythic. All right, Let's see what other secrets we can uncover from this box. All right. We got Press for Answers, Inquisitor's Ox, Ethereal Guidance, Moldgraft Scavenger, Quilled Wolf, Merciless Resolve, Hulk and Devil, Kessig Dire Swine, Creeping Dread, Forsaken Sanctuary, Pale Rider of Trusted, and Prized Amalgam is our rare. Then we've got Neglected Heirloom for a flipper. Oh, sweet. So I was just talking about my EDH cards. Got a Foil Fevered Visions uh, at the beginning of each upkeep. Or each player's end step. That player draws a card. If that player is your opponent and has four or more cards in hand, Fevered Vision deals two damage to him. Great enchantment going into my Nekazar deck. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff so far. Alright. So, we lead off with the other vessel of Parame Paramnesia. Nibelisk of Dusk. Chaplain's Blessing. Warp Landscape. Explosive Apparatus. Equestrian Skill, Stormkirk Mentor, Tormenting Voice, Root Out, Manic Scribe, Reckless Scholar, Stone Quarry, and Corrupted Graphstone. Then our flip card, Solitary Hunter. And a clue token. Alright. Pack number six, Double Thorn Fox, Catalog, The Raven Inspector, Apothecary Geist, Wicker Witch, Tormenting Voice, Root Out, Rotten Heart Ghoul, Reduced to Ashes, Runaway Carriage, Lightning Axe, Graph Mole, and From Under the Floorboards. I think this is a really good card. Always good getting some zombies on the field. Even better if you can get it for the madness cost of X and 2 black. Because then you get to gain X life and put X tokens on the battlefield. Alright. Rolling right along. Alright. We got. Sleep Paralysis, Inquisitor's Ox, Silent Observer, Wicker Witch, Strength of Arms, Rush of Adrenaline, Rabid Bites, Alms of the Vein, Reduced to Ashes, Stesnia Masquerade. Like this enchantment, giving everybody attacking first strike, it's going to go great in Tribal Vampires. Weirding Wood. Biting Rain, and another mythic, Behold the Beyond. 
You gotta be honest. I don't really know how good this card is. Paying seven mana, bitch in your hand, to get three cards? Given you get to get anything, but I just I just don't know if it holds up to some of the other tutors like that. And then we got a Kessig Forge Master, another werewolf, and a lovely clue token. Stained glass window of Abyssin. Alright. Get a little bit more organized up here. All right, we got a Vessel of Paramnesia, an Angelic Purge, Hound of the Farbogs, Shard of Broken Glass, Gone Missing, Uncaged Fury, Byway Courier, Grotesque Mutation, Nahiri's Machinations, Mad Prophet, Humble the Brutes, and Avacyn's Judgment. Really great if you can get that madness going. Dealing X damage to everything. I like it. Then we got a Hinterland Logger. Nice little flip. Oh, we got two flips. We also got the thing in the ice. Turning into that Awoken Horror. Sending everybody else's non-horror creatures back to their hand when it flips. The question will become... How easy is it to flip? Frankly, I have no idea. I don't know. I just feel like having to cast four sorceries to get it to get the counters off feels like a lot. But who knows? Maybe in modern you can get some. Uh, maybe somebody's got the answer that I do not. All right, rolling right along. Double Thorn Fox, furtive homunculus. Really not sure what a creature, what kind of creature a homunculus is. But, pretty cool. Angelic Purge, Moreland Drifter, Gone Missing, Twins of Moror Estates, Insolent Neonates, Aim High, Olivia's Bloodsworn, gonna be real good in those tribal vampires, giving people haste for a red, Paranoid Parish Blade, Ulvenwald Mysteries, I really like this card. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, you get to investigate, and when you sack those clues, you get a 1 1 human soldier creature token. I think it's pretty good. Then we got a blob, the inexorable kind. Uh, I really like this card. Uh, I don't know how much of a player it'll be in standard, but if you've got delirium turned on, you swing, you get two blobs for the price of one. Flip card in Lamholt Pacifist, and then a foil, Might Beyond Reason, to go with a forest and a vampire knight. Let's hope we got a Soren in there to use it with. All right. Next, we got the pieces of the puzzle. We've got Expose Evil, another Homunculus, Ethereal Guidance, Drown Yard Explorers, Moldgraft Scavenger, Shambleback, Howl Pack Wolf, Vessel of Nascency, Gloom Widow, Invasive Surgery, Bleeding Memories, and a Flame Blade Angel. All right, I'm gonna be honest. When I first saw the Flame Blade Angel, I didn't think it was that good. An intro pack rare, eh, it's whatever. This thing is strong. Anytime you want to attack somebody with this, you have to think about it. You have to think, is taking the return damage really worth it? This shuts down a lot of people who have tokens that are 1-1s one because they're taking just as much damage as they give to you. And that is not what you want. And then we got the gas staff arsonists. Oh, and we got an ooze to go with our inexorable blob. All 
going right along. Really hoping for an Arling Cord. Vessel of Ephemera. Lamplighter of Selhoff. Puncturing Lights. Explosive Apparatus. Drown Yard Explorers. Lone Dryad. Vampire Noble. Howl Pack Wolf. Stoic Builder. Groundskeeper. And a Reaper of Moonflight Silver, Malevolent Whispers, and Asylum Visitor. There we go. The uh, Baby Dark Confidants. Getting that card draw going. If you got no cards in hand, you're losing the life. And we got the uh, Pious Evangel. The hybrid between, uh, I believe it's Soul Warden. On the front, Zillapore Cutthroat on the back. Pretty interesting card. And a zombie token. Alright. Unruly Mob. Silverland Snapper. Giant Snapping Turtle. Vessel of Ephemera, Intrepid Provisioner, Rancid Rats, Fiery Temper, Clip Wings, Farbog Revenant, Rush of Adrenaline, Liliana's Indignation, Halpack Resurgence, Indulgent Aristocrats, and Drog Skull Caval Cavalry. Getting those spirits flying. And we got a flip card in Village Messenger. And then. Another clue, another checklist card. Rolling right along. Alright, got a stitched mangler. Got an exposed evil. Deny existence. Sanitarium skeleton. Merciless resolve. Hulk and Devil, Thornhide Wolves, Murderous Compulsion, Ember Eye Wolf, Pour Over the Pages, Sinister Concoction, Erdwall Illuminator, and Welcome to the Fold. Taking control of people. Solitary Hunter, The Flip, A Mountain, and a Clue. Alright, we got an Inspiring Captain, Deny Existence, Storm Rider Spirit, Hound of the Far Bogs, Murderous Compulsion, Ember Eye Wolf, Equestrian Skill, Storm Kirk Mentor, Not Forgotten, Geist Blast, Tenacity, and one of my personal favorite cards, Triskaidekaphobia. Love this card. I might have killed myself with it at the pre release, but it was hilarious, so I didn't care. Then we got two flip cards, a skin invasion, and a foil lambhole pacifist. And then a spirit token. Got another press for answers, dauntless cathar. Nagging Thoughts, Senseless Rage, Rotten Heart Ghoul, Murderous Compulsion, Fiery Temper, Root Out, Farbog Revenant, Geist Blast, Pick the Brain, Highland Lake, and an Invocation of St. Traft. And our foil, our foil, sorry, our flip card, Arab Falcon Wrath. Right. And we got a Thraven Inspector, a Nibilus of Dust, Blood Mad Vampire, Moreland Drifter, Warp Landscape, Halpack Wolf, Stoic Builder, Shampleback, 
Drenau, Corpse Trawler, Murderer's Axe, Ulrich's Kindred. Ooh, we got another Jace. There we go. Then we got flip card, Convicted Killer. Ooh, and we got the Geyer Reach Bandit. I think this card is great once you flip it. Because whenever you have a werewolf enter the battlefield, Ben, you get to transform it. Sweet card. All right. But nothing like a pair of Jaces in the same box. Clean up again. Moving right along. Inspiring Captain, Catalog, Survive the Night, Intrepid Provisioner, Shard of Broken Glass, Crow of Dark Tidings, Uncaged Fury, Watcher in the Web. This thing is a nuisance. Could not get through it at the pre-release. Getting to block eight of my creatures at once with reach. Nonsense. Haunted Cloak. Humble the Brutes, Crawling Sensation, and a Slayer's Plate. Beefing up those humans. Or rather, getting value from those humans if they die. Getting a 1-1 one, one Spirit. And we got Hermit of the Natter Nulls, And a Foil Stallion of Ashmouth. To go with our Swamp and our Blue Hill. All right. All right. Thar's Companion, Militant Inquisitor, Ghostly Wings, Gone Missing, Warp Landscape, Explosive Apparatus, Crow of Dark Titan, Sanguinary Mage, Fork in the Road, Behind the Scenes. I love this card. Given everybody Skulk, Skulk, I think, is a surprisingly underrated mechanic. Because you just play with some smaller creatures, yes, but they're unblockable. Free damage, Veteran Cathar, a Woodland Stream, ooh, and a Fortified Village. When it enters the battlefield, you get to reveal a Forest or a Plains, otherwise it comes in tap. Then we got the Town Gossiper, and a Wolf Token. Hopefully to go with the Arlen Cord that we pulled. Although, I'll be honest, I'll be happy with whatever we get. Already got a pair of Jaces. Maybe not, Maybe asking for an Arlen Cord is a little greedy. Alright, Militant Inquisitor, Storm Rider Spirit, Stern Constable, Moldgraf Scavenger, Ethereal Guidance, Hound of the Farbogs, Byway Courier, Grotesque Mutation, Invasive Surgery, Spectral Shepherd, Mad Prophet, and Burn From Within. Really like this card, getting to get rid of things that are indestructible. Then we got the Harvest Hand, another thing for uh, you Scarecrow fans out there. And a Foil Near Heath Captain. Like we're getting towards the end. All right, we got a furtive homunculus, devil thorn fox, catalog, seagraph scab, scab, probably scab, two ways. Dual shot, confront the unknown, throttle, vessel of volatility. Got all the vessels now. Thornhide wolves, some incorrigible youths, silver strike, pack guardian. Another Fevered Visions. And then a Breakneck Rider. Mm. 
Ghostly Wings, Puncturing Light, Silent Observer, Stallion of Ashmouth, Pyre Hound, Might Beyond Reason, Ranted Rats, Dual Shot, Quilled Wolf, Obsessive Skinner, Call the Bloodline, getting those, getting those Vampire Knights rolling, Stitchwing Scob, ooh, an Altered Ego, getting that nice shapeshifter, and then some Gas Staff Arsonists, another Island, and a Clue. All right, looks like we got, oh, we got more packs left than I thought. Sweet. Chug right along. All right, Emissary of the Sleepless, Jace's Scrutiny, Stitched Mangler, Moreland Drifter, Dual Shot, Quilled Wolf, Merciless Resolve, Hulk and Devil, Thornhide Wolves, Essence Flux, Haunted Cloak, Inner Struggle, and Epiphany at the Drown Yard. And our flip is Uninvited Geist. Really like this card. If you get to get in with damage with it, you get a 3 3 unblockable. I think it's a sweet deal. All right. We got pieces of the puzzle. Raven Inspector, Silverland Snapper, Gone Missing, Pyrehound, Might Beyond Reason, Stormkirk Mentor, Tormenting Voice, Clip Wings, Giss's Bidding, Trail of Ev Evidence, Skeleton Key, and Engulf the Shore. Neglected Heirloom for our flip, Human Soldier for the token. Right. Got pieces of the puzzle. Expose evil. Ghoul Caller's accomplice. Truth Faith Sensor. Sanguinary Mage. Byway Courier. Grotesque Mutation. Vampire Noble. Cult of the Waxing Moon. More Crut Necopod. Ongoing of investigation. Ooh, and we got that relentless dead. Yes. Getting. That zombie tribal a rolling. I think this is going to be a great card in all the formats. Um, as long as you got a black man open, it just keeps coming back. You can't stop it. Or if you've got enough mana, you just get whatever uh, zombies you want. They come back. Then we got Solitary Hunter. It's a flip. Oh, yes. Gotta love it. That Arlen Cord. Taking up that second flip spot in the pack. Gonna put her. Rather, get her. In the double, or in the clear sleeve, so that way we can check out both sides of her. That Arlen Cord side, and then Arlen Embraced by the Moon. I think this card is going to be insane in standard. She's got some great protection, given some haste and vigilance, and plus two, plus two. Or you get to have a wolf, you flip her over, and then you get a mini overrun. This card's insane, and I love it. Chugging right along. I know that Arlen Cord is going straight into... My Minna and Den Wildborn deck. Alright, Chaplain's Blessing, Jace's Scrutiny, Dauntless Cathar, Apothecary Geist, Vessel of Masoncy, Twins of Moror Estate, Structural Distortion, Stoic Builder, Not Forgotten, Gibbering Fiend, Bound by Moonsilver, and A Forgotten Creation. Getting that, uh, Discarding your whole hand, drawing that many cards. I like it. And we got a Kessig Forge Master and a Thraven Inspector. Gotta say, at my pre release, this was a great card. Nice one drop. It gives you the chance to get some more cards later. 
All right. Silent Observer, Survive the Night, Just the Wind, Shard of Broken Glass, Sanitarium Skeleton, Byway Courier, Grotesque Mutation, Insolent Neonates. I love some of the names Wizards give these cards. Watcher in the Web, Tooth Collector, Dance with Devils, Wild Field Scarecrow, and we got the Devil's Playground. Then we got an Accursed Witch as a flip card. I think this is a sweet card because your opponent cannot win with this card. Unless they exile it, when they kill it, it goes right on them. They're cursed. They're losing one life a turn. You're gaining the life. Otherwise, they let it live and they keep getting beat down for four damage a turn, which isn't an option either. I think that card is pretty underrated personally. All right. Chaplain's Blessing, Nibbleus of Dusk, Unruly Mob, Sanitarium Skeleton, Shard of Broken Glass, Voldaren Duelist, Fork in the Road, Vessel of Malignity, Sanguinary Mage, Bloom Widow, Broken Concentration, Fleeting Memories, and Declaration in Stone. The two mana path to exile. So, I'm going to be honest. Originally, I didn't think that card was going to be good because it was two mana, sorcery speed, gives people some clue tokens. But then I thought about it. They don't get to draw that card immediately. They have to spend mana to do so. So, that card is a lot better than I thought it was going to be, honestly. But we'll see. We'll see how good it is. Inspiring Captain. Deny Existence. Storm Rider Spirit. Magmatic Chasm. Root Out. Rotten Heart Ghoul. Reduced to Ash. Rabid Bite. Alms of the Vein. Open the Armory. Spiteful Motives. Near Heath Chaplain. And a Bygone Bishop. Gonna go really great with some white weenies. Every time you cast a creature spell with converted mana cost 3 or less, you get to investigate. For a 2-3 flyer, that's a pretty good deal. Then we got the Kindly Stranger as our flip. Alright, getting into the home stretch. See the bottom. Only 5 packs left. Let's do it. Sleep Paralysis. Stern Constable. Nagging Thoughts, Blood Mad Vampire, Confront the Unknown, Dead Weight, Vessel of Volatility, Kessig Dire Swine, Macabre Waltz, Behind the Scenes, Forgotten Sanctuary, Pale Rider of Trosted, and we got Olivia Mobilized for War. Getting those vampires represented. Pretty good. And Abyssinian missionaries, or as I like to call them, the Spanish Inquisition, because let's face it, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. But Olivia, great madness enabler, giving stuff haste, pumping the team, things going to be real good. Puncture and light. Sleep Paralysis, Inquisitor's Ox, Intrepid Provisioner, Kessig Dire Swine, Macabre Waltz, Pyrehound, Might Beyond Reason, Rancid Rats, Moonlight Hunt, Compelling Deterrence, Rise from the Tides, and a Choked Estuary. Coming into the battlefield tapped unless you reveal a swamp or an island. Thinking standard, those are going to go great. With the Tango Lands we got, since those have the basic land type, we reveal one of those and throw it down. We got Bird of Homunculus, Angelic Purge, Vessel of Paramnesia, Warped Landscape, Kessig Dire Swine, Dead Weight, Ember Eye Wolf, Equestrian Skill, Macabre Waltz, Epitaph Golem, Ravenous Bloodsucker, Murderer's Axe, and Death Cab Cultivator to go with an Autumnal Bloom.
I am a filthy liar. We've still got some more to go. Alright, Militant Inquisitor, Ghostly Wings, Senseless Rage, Lone Dryad, Strength of Arms, Voldaren Duelist, Getting that hasty vampire, making it so stuff can't block. Fork in the road, vessel of malignity, creep and dread, foul orchard, ghoul steed, cryptolith rights. Gonna be honest, I think this is a really good card. For two mana, turns all of your creatures into mana dorks for any color. That's that's a really good card, especially if you can make some tokens. If all of your tokens are even the mana dorks. And it's, it's a good card. Uh, Solitary Hunter. Ooh, and another Elusive Tormentor. And that to the collection. And another Wolf Token to go with Arwen. Alright. Three packs left after this. Cathar's Companion. Lamplighter of Selha. Emissary of the Sleepless, Rule Caller's Accomplice, Seagraph Scob, Truth Based Sensor, Fork in the Road, Shambleback, Howl Pack Wolf, Hope Against Hope, Ulrich's Kindred. I'm interested to know who Ulrich is. I think he's going to be our legendary werewolf next set. Get that red green werewolf going for us EDH folks. Tenacity, a Markov Dread Knight. Pretty solid card. Nice big beaten flyer. The Raven Gargoyle and a Flying Spirit. All right, press for answers. Inquisitor's Ox, Just the Wind, Strength of Arms, Magmatic Chasm, Rush of Adrenaline, Rabid Bite, Alms of the Vein, Reduced to Ashes, Lightning Axe. Grathmul, Indulgent Aristocrat, and Traverse the Ulven Walls. It's a great card. Especially if you have Delirium on. Don't have Delirium on, it's still pretty solid, getting you a basic land. But, if you got that Delirium going, get a land, get a creature, whichever you want. Alright, then we got a Village Messenger, and then an Insect. Alright, second to last pack. Let's see what else, what other goodies we got going on. Stern Constable, Press for Answers, Dauntless Cathar, Seagraph Scob, True Faith Sensor, Reduced to Ashes, Confront the Unknown, Dead Weight, Vessel of Volatility, Weirding Wood, Manic Scribe, Reckless Scholar. Oh yes. We got Sigarda, Heron's Grace, my wife is going to be real happy later. As she has she has the original Sigarda, the host of Herons, as an EDH deck, and she really wanted that card. So we are going to get to surprise her later with that. Alright, so, did this a little too long. You're going to sleep. All right. You got Catalog, Survive the Night, Stitched Mangler, Seagraph Scob, Stallion of Ashma, Rush of Adrenaline, Quilled Wolf, Merciless Resolve, Hulk and Devil, Open the Armory, Tooth Collector, Silver Strike, Spirit Token, Duskwatch Recruiter, and Drog Skull Cavalry. All right. Go ahead and grab what really matters here. The pulls. Let's focus real quick on our mythics. Super, super happy with this box. Anytime you get more than one Planeswalker, Especially when you get that mythic planeswalker going. That is, what am I talking about? Every 
Planeswalkers and Mythic. I mean, Foil Mythic. It's a great box. So we got the Jace, got the Sigarda, got the Arlen Cord that we really, really wanted. Relentless Dead, Olivia, Mobilized for War, another Jace, and Behold the Beyond. All in all, this was a lot of fun. This was a great box, at least I think. Uh, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below. Um, hoping to do more videos like this. Uh, so if you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button down there. Also, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.